I only recently rewatched No Holds Barred and realized that it was you wrestling Hulk Hogan <laughs> in the opening scene there. Were you at all concerned about doing that without the makeup that people would know it was you? It's amazing that uh, it you didn't, didn't look like you somehow. Yeah, you didn't know. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a funny true story. No, I, I, Barry was supposed to do it first. And I was happy because that meant they flew out one day early. They did the taping the second day and flew back the third day. That meant I was going to have three days off. I was happy. Well, a couple weeks later, Hogan comes to me because we had already had a series of matches in Japan, in the United States, and he just felt more comfortable with me working with him. And I said, you clear it with Barry? It's fine. I'll do it. Now, Barry's happy because he's got one, two, three days off. So we go out. We do the, the, the deal. And my parents know that the movie's coming out. When the movie came out, they went to the theater. They live in a small town south of Pittsburgh. They watched the movie. And they went through the whole movie. And I remember my mother telling me, she looked at my dad. She says, they must have taken Bill out of the movie. He wasn't in there. I didn't see him. My dad says, I didn't see him either. So the credits are running. And now they see Jake Bullitt, Bill Eady. It's a small town. So they sat, stayed in the theater and watched the second time. And then they make the announcement, Jake Bullitt. And then they're looking at me and they said, it took us two times to see it, to see you. Yeah, I, it's so weird because no, when you know it's you, it's obvious, but somehow if yeah. you're not expecting it, it doesn't compute. Right. How was the pay for that compared to your normal wrestling pay? It was about the same. It was, you know, uh, the nice thing was that we took it in one take. A lot of people don't realize that. They had the building scheduled from 9 a.m. until 9 p.m. They were going to do this and this and this and this. So we flew out. Hogan and Hogan met me in uh, the airport at Atlanta, and we're flying out, and we're discussing the match, what we're going to do. This is what he wants to do. This is what we need to do, blah, 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 blah. So we went. We landed in, in uh, I think it was Topeka, went to the gym, worked out. Got up the next morning. They did all that makeup and all that stuff. And they said, okay, we're going to do our first take. And they had planned to do this all day. So we did the match. One take. And the, the, like their jaws dropped. Well, that was perfect. And then one guy said, well, what do we do now? And Hogan says, we're done. So we had to do a couple still photos position holding and this and that and you know things like that but they wanted us to have that match four or five times we didn't need it four or five times they took a couple sections out of it because it was like a 12 or 15 minute match that we had and i think in the movie it was like less than two right so then we're gone then we get back on the hogan had to stay but i was gone i was out of there and home the next day were they at all afraid about kayfabing the live crowd there because wrestling was still so. secret yeah i don't i don't think they they may have been but what are you shooting a movie for right right because and they I would think, have known I, and i think the people probably was says oh this is just a movie this is not wrestling in the wrestling it's it's different it's it's more real that's the thing this is a movie, so they have to stop in this and that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.